What's going on folks? Simulation for the Nation here with another mod review from the SMI modern team in partnership with ISG Giuliano, the Italian farmer. Today we are looking at the Rabi Bluebird 6000, 6 meters in length, attachable to both the front and the rear of the tractor as you can well see, and also configurable on the rear with a lovely looking Pacarola there. So, what is new about this? Well, we had this in uh, towards the end of FS19 there. Brilliant mod that it was as well. It does require approximately 170 horsepower to use one of these. Now it is pretty darn big. If you're going to stick it on the front and the rear, you're going to need a bit more power to push it. Uh, you have a 15 kilometer an hour top speed. Uh, and also very configurable install there. Like I say, to have the front or rear attacher and also adding on the packer roller but also different color configurations for the chisel plow legs as you can see here we've got all blue on the back and we've got a little bit of blue and black on the front here does look very nice indeed now the wear and the stickers and all the decals on here have been customized and created to replicate the actual model that the italian farmer uses himself uh which is awesome uh once again the uh you can see the particular attention paid by SMI to the hydraulic hoses, to a lot of the, the individual nuts and bolts across the entirety of the the rig, both front and rear, of course. Uh, and also little things like the weld and joints on here as well. They all look really, really impressive, that's for sure. So ultimately a very well designed, very good model uh, across. Now what we're gonna do, we're gonna fold these up. We're gonna take it into a random field and we're just gonna see how they perform because what I particularly like is the animation that we see when it's going in and out of the ground. But to do that, let's get ourselves away. First thing we'll do is fold up the front. We're going for the one side folding in. Then up comes the other, which is great. Let's spin it around. And we'll do the same back here. Six meters working with folding up inside three meters so you can transport on the road comfortably. Over comes one. And there you go. Fantastic stuff. And off we go. Now, we don't actually own the field yet, but we will soon... Uh, we will soon settle that one. We're just going to go and use, well, heck, this field right in front of us here. Excuse us. Here's someone's field that seems to be growing well, but. It is now ours. So we can just go ahead and unfold everything once again. Uh, and we will get ourselves away into this. Now, we don't have GPS enabled here. We're not going to need it for the purpose of this. What I want to show you is just how both pieces of equipment act and behave whilst they are in the field so let's bring back our hood here we're currently on the front one which is great and we're going to lower that down the depth wheel on the front there will stop it from digging in too much now we are away i just wanting to push it even faster than we're going there but a little bit of wheel spin off the line but we're looking good nice and wide there like i say six meters working with that looking pretty good see the individual tines moving as well with the spring loaded tension on there as well which is really really nice to see uh we'll get to the end we'll turn it around and we'll just stick the, uh, the rear down as well so you can see the difference and then loop it around and down goes the back now, as you can see, there is a little bit of play there on the rear packer wheel as well, just so it does not dig all the way in. It's moving with the depth there, as are the, the depth wheels ever so slightly. Much like with the uh, the version in FS19 as well, you can adjust the depth in which the plow is actually in the ground uh, by moving your uh, left, cut, left mouse button and moving sideways there. You can adjust the depth there, which I really do like that an awful lot. Uh, can you bring it right out the ground if you want to? Does it actually do anything there? Uh, it's just tickling the surface. Yeah, we're going to keep it all the way in. To the point where those wheels are barely pushing. But yeah, so you can adjust that as well to your heart's content. And so there you have it. Nice and straightforward, nice and simple, beautifully made, really well detailed there. SMI modern team are spending a lot of time trying to replicate their models as accurately as possible. As I mentioned there, this has been built 
in collaboration with the Italian farmer that sort of been able to use his models as reference uh, so you'll be able to see that all of the uh, logos and all of the decals here look like they would do in real life haven't been used for a little bit so a little bit faded a little bit scuffed there but more crucially all of the measurements are to scale everything has been accurately measured and portrayed into scale for farming simulator 22. Uh, it has been released to giants for testing all been well we should hopefully see it soon i know that giants are going to be looking to uh to close down for the holidays very shortly so hopefully we'll get to see it before them however if not it will be a great surprise for the new year uh, this will be coming across to all platforms all being well and we'll keep you posted as and when we have any more information for now though you can also find all of smi modern's facebook and social media uh, locations and sites down below if you have enjoyed this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and we shall see you all in the next one until then do stay safe enjoy what you're doing as always and we'll see you later